right, welcome back to the show. Uh, today, our guest is Ang Ung. He is the business owner and web designer of Amazing Websites. Well, Amazing Websites began as an entrepreneurial project with Employ Yourself, a community-based program which provides business mentoring and support to people uh, to become self-employed, essentially. So Eng uh, specializes in developing nonprofit community websites, and he is based in southwestern Sydney. Well, Eng, thanks very much for joining us today. Thanks for interviewing me, Kirsten. So uh, today, I guess we'll be talking about how to build an effective nonprofit website. Uh, so, uh, first of all, why nonprofits? Well, Kirsten, I've been working with uh, nonprofits for over 12 years now, and uh, I really have a soft spot and a lot of respect for the people that work with community organizations. And um, I've also been, you know, involved in a lot of nonprofit work um, for over 12 years. Uh, what got me really uh, interested in helping nonprofits was um, an experience that I had uh, working in a hospital where. I used a $2 software to run a $5 million pharmaceutical inventory. So as you can imagine, at, at that time, it really taught me a really big lesson about, you know, technology. And I came to realize that it's not the uh, technology that drives an organization. It's more the people behind the technology, the people who are actually using it. And so when I started Amazing Websites, I wanted to, um, you know, I wanted to do something that I could give back to the community, but also bring my experience and, and uh, my passion into the in, into these projects. So, Ang, do you also service businesses as well? Yes, uh, fifty percent of our clients are businesses, so we uh, take care of them in the same way that we take care of nonprofits. And and what are some common pitfalls uh, that nonprofits face when they uh, want to build their own websites? Well, you know, with uh, nonprofits, Kirsten, I think one of the biggest uh, constraints is, is uh, their budgets. And, um, you know, many nonprofits, you know, go about trying to, um, you know, trying to throw themselves into uh, their work and trying to develop their own website using free stuff such as, uh, you know, Facebook and Twitter and, and getting a template and or, you know, getting their volunteer uh, to do their website. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they go about, you know, trying to create something, but, you know, eventually they find out that it doesn't work. You know, sometimes the volunteer leaves or they get uh, really bogged down with all the technical details and, and uh, you know, things get left unfinished. And, you know, on top of that, they've got their own professional role to, to carry out as well. And so, you know, they generally, they, they, they fall into the pitfall of, you know, trying to get something for free, but, you know, they end up wasting a lot of time and resources. Well, and it's true. It's the old adage, free isn't always free because you're dealing with time. And uh, when time is wasted, that costs money, of course. Um, so tell me, how do you avoid some of these pitfalls? Well, you know, for us, it's about the one-on-one -on -one relationships. You know, we try to get time with our clients and we try to build something that uh, that will adapt to their uh, organization, that will adapt to the way that they work. And, um, you know, most of our packages come up with up to uh, 12 months of ongoing technical support. You know, we provide uh, training and, and feedback to our clients to make sure that, you know, they, they know what they're uh, up against. Hmm. And of course, websites come in many different flavors from HTML websites to blogs to, you know, full fledged CMSs or what they call content management systems from what you explained before the program. Well, what systems do you recommend? Well, Kirsten, I think, um, you know, with all websites nowadays, they get updated so frequently that um, you need a website that will upgrade and grow, not just you know, with what's happening out there in technology land, but also, you know, uh, that will grow with your organization. And I think it's, it's important to have something that will up, uh, sorry, that will integrate with social media, you know, something that you can view on your uh, phone or your tablet and, and something that you can expand, you know, like add a credit card processing facility or, or uh, turn it into an online shop. You might 
not think that you need these things now, but you know, down the line, you will need a system that will eventually adapt to how you work. And you know, for us, we we use a, a very powerful software called uh, Joomla. It's it's the framework of what we use to build our websites on. And Joomla is is quite popular around the world. It runs uh, such websites as eBay and and Vodafone. And here in Australia, uh, you know, the Victorian police and government also use it uh, to run their own websites. Well, it's it's quite amazing, and you know we do have a B-roll here. I'd like to play uh, for the for the benefit of our audience, if uh, if you don't mind, we'll uh, we'll just cut to this B-roll, and, and you can you can all see uh, exactly how this how this great operating system works. Uh, let's watch. There are two ways to edit the content of your web pages. The first way is to log into the back end of your website. This gives you more control and allows you to fully change the look and the feel of your website. The second way is to edit the website through the front end. You simply go to the web page that you want to edit. In our case, we want to edit the About Us page. Enter your login details. Click the Edit button. And now you can enter text and add images to your website. And now I will demonstrate the back end of the website. As you can see, the layout of the editor is similar to the layout of Microsoft Word. <clears throat> so anyone who uses Word on a regular basis will find it quite easy to edit content on their website. The image editor will optimize your image to the right setting so that it can be displayed properly on your website. This means that you don't have to buy expensive software such as Photoshop in order to edit the pictures on your website. You can also pick an image and you can resize it, crop it, rotate it and apply different effects to your images. Once you're done, you can click Save and the image will be uh, edited and optimized according to your settings. Ang, very interesting, and uh, I can understand now why uh, you chose this as the platform of uh, of your of your whole strategy. Um, so, Ang, how can one get a hold of you? Well, they can uh, contact me by email or uh, give me a call. You know, I um, I like to go out and meet my clients and and you know talk with them and get to know them, and it's a long term relationship. So, uh, you know, feel free to contact me. Uh, I'm always available to talk. Well, uh, I tell you what, we'll uh, leave the credits with uh, with your website address. But essentially, we've been speaking today with uh, Ang Ung, and he's the business owner and, and web designer with Amazing Websites. And uh, that's triple A M A Z A Z I N G dot com dot A U. So check out the website and find out more information. Uh, thanks, Ang, for joining us today. Thank you, Kirsten. And thank you all for joining us once more. Uh, we appreciate your attendance. See you next time.